Hello everybody, this is Paul. I traded in my Honda. Yeah, I know, it was my first car. I was a little sad when I sold it, but or when I traded it in. Didn't really get much trade-in value for it because I had all the crazy aftermarket stuff on it. And you guys might be wondering, did the aftermarket stuff make it? Or did I keep it? <laughs> Anyone who knows me <laughs> is gas flammable. Of course it did. Here is the shocker hidden nicely under, underneath the side panel here. This is the back passenger side. Uh, solenoid valves. Travel underneath the truck here. You can see the elbow into the solenoid valve. Comes over. You just follow the airline right there. And then it curls around actually and then goes up through the floorboards. Conveniently a grommet in the floorboard that I could run all my electrical and the airline through. Which then comes up in here. And for those of you who knew my Honda and it, the air system I set up I had in there, so a lot of this should look familiar to you. We got the 120 volt uh, air compressor pressure switch right here. It does, for those of you who are new, it will run a 12 volt system just fine. Um, and you can actually run two compressors off of it because it's got four different uh, spade connectors that you can run the positive for two compressors. My Viair 480C and 400C returners will recognize that those are the same two that I had. And uh, I actually only have, I only actually use the switch on this Pre or the actual built-in switch on this pressure switch here uh, to run the two compressors. So whenever I turn the turn the truck on, I actually flip the switch on. So and uh, anywho, so we got the blow-off valve right here and a hose connector here. Air comes in from the two compressors right here in through the same mist separator that I had on the Honda, and then it just goes down into the tank. And the outlet for the horns is right here. Heads down, up, over, around, and down through that same hole in the floorboards. Just had to pull up the carpeting a little bit, which is no difficult task at all. And then, actually, the ground was able to be wired in right to one of the, the screws that holds the carpeting down. So that was nice and convenient. And I got my air hose and my tool, my smaller toolbox with all the all of the fun goodies that I had in my my previous toolbox but uh, my two gallon air tank actually broke when I was taking it apart I had a air fitting or an, yeah one of the air fittings actually shear off inside of the tank and so it was it rendered it useless I tried an easy out and it just it ended up hollowing the whole thing out and destroyed the threads on the tank, so that rendered it useless. But a five-gallon air system is still pretty dang good. It gives me lots of honk time with the horns, and the compressors are powerful enough that it can still power the impact wrench. And uh, so far, I like this little truck. Um, those of you who are curious about the specs, I'll show those to you. It is a 4.0 liter V6 with a five-speed manual shift transmission. I love that a lot. Four wheel drive, little CD player on it. Nothing fancy, 2006, so that's about right. Um, came with a, what is known as a Truxedo, which is the truck bed cover. I've loved that so far. I've used it quite extensively whenever I've been hauling furniture and such. Uh, my fiance and I are getting married in December, and so we've started moving stuff in. And so, yeah, if you guys happen to live in the Iowa area, like anywhere near the Cedar Falls Waterloo area, and you're looking for a good used vehicle, Birdnow Motors. Highly recommend, recommend them. Birdnow dealers, they give you there they have some great used vehicles for a very inexpensive price. Uh, yeah, so if you have any questions about my truck or about my air system, the horns, what have you, I will gladly throw them in the comments, and uh, actually, I'm taking suggestions for where I could put my light bar. 
I don't really want to drill any holes in the front of the truck if I don't have to. There, I was able to find on Amazon these little magnet things, these little magnet mounts, and they are pretty powerful. They are just not quite as powerful as I had I thought they would be. I and I'm a little wary about putting them on the truck for fear or uh, that they will actually be blown off. The light bar will actually blow off when I'm cruising at highway speeds. But only one way to find out. So, have any suggestions or questions or comments about the truck? Feel free feel free to throw them in the comments below and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.